If your day trading session is looking like this, by the end of this video, this strategy will take your trading to the next level just by using the MACD indicator and one simple price action pattern. Once you train your eyes, you will see the signals all over the place, at the beginning of a new trend, at the end of a retracement, within a trading range, within rising or falling trend. Before we begin, if you want more videos more often, please drop a like to help us with the YouTube algorithm and turn on the bell so you don't miss when new content is released. Now let's get started. This scalping trading strategy is based on price action and simple market structure that any trader should know. The strategy is mostly used as a continuation trading setup that is designed to take advantage of the trend of the market using a simple ABC pattern and the MACD histogram. And even though it's a continuation pattern upon confirmation, it can also be used as a reversal pattern from the short-term trend direction. In any trending market, there is a pattern of higher highs and higher lows. In order for the trend to the upside to remain active, each successive impulsive swing must take out the previous swing, which is the point B in the formation. When price surpasses the point B, you can use this as a confirmation that the ABC pattern is present. In an uptrend market situation, price will make three points. Point A is the lowest low point, forming a support level. Point B will be the highest point, forming a level that we consider as potential resistance. And point C will be the second low point, a support level, which must be higher than point A. The breakout of price above point B signals the continuation of the uptrend. In a downtrend market, the ABC pattern forms when point A becomes the highest point, when price finds resistance and moves down, point B becomes a lower low point, forming a support level, and we find another resistance at point C, which is lower than point A. When price breaks the point B support level, it indicates that the market is most likely to continue downward. The ABC pattern is very powerful. When an uptrend pulls back, it will put in a low, and from that low, price continues to rally. This acts as a short-term potential resistance. Price rallies to this point and then begins to retrace back in the direction of the point A. We don't want to see the price retrace all the way to the point A. If it does, we will consider that a double bottom formation. Please note that the ABC pattern is only confirmed once the high of the point B is taken out by the price. Honestly, it's a very simple pattern, offering many opportunities and a great risk to reward ratio. Once you understand the fundamental basics and you practice, you will see them all over the place. And you will see that sometimes the ABC pattern happens very quickly, or it can take some time to develop. Here's an important point for you to remember. Generally, the more bars that are involved in the ABC buy or sell pattern, the bigger the move. The entry is simple. You either buy or sell the breakout of the point B. But here's the problem. There are many traders, systems, which blindly sell and buy at the breakout of every pivot point on a chart. And this is where the MACD histogram comes into equation. MACD histogram will help us to filter ABC signals. MACD histogram bridges the time gap between the price movement and the MACD and offers a deeper insight into the balance of power between so-called bulls and bears than the original MACD. The histogram is one of the best tools because it shows not only who has control over the market, but also their magnitude of strength. The histogram measures the distance between the MACD and its signal line, which is the 9 period EMA of the MACD. The difference is represented by vertical lines. The interesting fact is that the MACD histogram also fluctuates above and below the zero line. Hence, it is also known as a momentum oscillator. If the fast line is above the slow line, the MACD histogram is positive, and plotted above the zero line. On the other hand, if the fast line is below the slow line, the MACD histogram is negative and plotted below the zero line. Interestingly, when the two lines touch, the MACD histogram equals zero. The magnitude of the histogram height is directly proportional to the spread between the MACD and the signal line. When the uptrend or the downtrend gains momentum, the MACD histogram becomes taller or deeper depending on its direction. When the momentum weakens, the MACD histogram becomes shorter. Pay attention to this part because we will use the increase or decrease in the MACD histogram 
to filter our signals. You will get a maximum benefit when you will be able to identify the real value of the histogram. When a histogram is above the zero line, positive, but starts to fall toward the zero line, it signifies the uptrend is weakening. Conversely, when a histogram is below its zero line, negative, but starts to rise toward the zero line, it signifies the downtrend is weakening. In other words, the decrease in height when above and below the zero line signifies that the underlying momentum is getting weaker. Now very important, it just gives a warning but never provides a signal to go long or short. Now, how to filter ABC signals using MACD histogram? It's very simple. Here's a long ABC pattern entry. We identified point A, and the first movement higher is point B. This is followed by a retracement back lower that creates a higher low, and point C. The ABC pattern is fully formed when price takes out the recent high of leg B. This is the time when we'll make our breakout trade. But we need a confirmation, because if you take all signals without context, you will slowly blow up your account. The key here is the MACD histogram. For this long setup, during the formation of the third point, point C, the MACD histogram must remain positive. It shouldn't go below the zero level. This is very important. This means the MACD decreased in height during the formation of point C, but remained above the zero line. So even if the underlying momentum is getting weaker, it's still a positive momentum. And when price breaks point B, then we can safely enter the trade because during the correction, when the point C was formed, bulls remained strong and maintained the upward momentum. Here's how you filter short signals using the ABC pattern and the MACD histogram. We have a downtrend. Point A is the highest point, when price finds resistance and moves down. Point B becomes a lower low point and forms support. Point C forms when the price moves up and forms a resistance. Remember that point C must be lower than point A. For this short setup, during the formation of the third point, point C, the MACD histogram must remain negative. It shouldn't go above the zero level. So during the formation of point C, MACD increased in height but remained below the zero line. Even if the underlying momentum was increasing, was still negative momentum. And when price broke point B downwards, we entered the trade with the downward momentum on our side. The price breakout below point B support level indicates that the market is most likely to continue going down. ABC patterns are also known as continuation patterns that represent breakouts of consolidated prices in the direction of the trend, but they might also signal a reversal move. My favorite setups and the safest ones are trend continuation. Being a scalping and day trading strategy, you must consider the short-term trend and trading in its direction. You don't need to consider the long-term trend because you don't aim to trade it. For example, if you are trading the 5 minute time frame, it doesn't really matter what the daily time frame is doing. This is critical, as every chart has its own trend. In this example, we aim to trade from one swing to the next using the short-term trend to ensure we are on the right side on the next swing. If you are experienced, you can use this scalping setup to trade reversals. If there is an uptrend, point A would be the first leg to the new lower low. Point B, or the second leg of the pattern, is when the price is retracing but doesn't make a fresh high. Thus, in this uptrend example, the first leg is moving lower and the second leg is moving the price back higher but doesn't make a new high, so point B completes a new lower high. If the price does make a new high, the uptrend is still in play. For the last and final leg of the pattern, the price again moves lower, past the point B, and goes on to make a new lower low. I personally tend to ignore these setups, simply because trend continuation scalping setups have a higher chance of succeeding. However, the trend reversal setups can offer much higher risk to reward ratios. Your target level during an ABC trade should be at a distance equal to the size of the ABC chart pattern. Applying it from the start of the confirmation level will give you an approximate target level. To measure the size of the pattern, you will need to add several lines. Line 1 should connect pivot points A and C. Line 2 is the horizontal level at pivot point B. The size of your ABC pattern equals the vertical distance between line 2 
and the midpoint of line 1. Or even simpler, you can project the size of the AB leg from the breakout of point B. Your stop loss order should be placed in the area of point C. Sometimes, volatile market conditions can push the price to go beyond point C for a short period. Then, the price will return and reverse again. You don't want to get your stop activated in this way. That's why the smarter approach here is to put your stop slightly beyond that level. If the pattern is bearish, the stop loss should go above the top of point C. If the pattern is bullish, then you should place the stop loss below the bottom of point C. The ABC reversal pattern combines well with the MACD because the histogram can help signal extreme values, which can provide confirmation of trend reversals. The idea is to match a reversal signal from the ABC reversal setup with a reversal signal from the MACD histogram. Matching ABC signals with the MACD divergences will also give you a higher probability trait. Also, it's important to use price action to improve your decision making. After all, the knowledge of another price action pattern emerging can always come in handy. In this chart, we found a bearish trend. At the beginning, it might be hard to spot the first two pivot points on the chart. However, when the price closes a higher low at point C and moves slightly upwards, this triggers some bullish thoughts. At the same time, the MACD histogram shows a bullish divergence. A bullish divergence occurs when the MACD histogram is indicating that the price should be bottoming and heading higher, yet the actual price action is continuing downward. So we had the previous bullish MACD divergence, the ABC pattern, and the MACD remained positive during the formation of point C, a confluence of factors. So when price broke point B, it went straight to our profit target. Here's an example of a bearish scalping trade. You will see that price action formed the first leg lower, the second leg higher with the lower high and then price finally broke out and confirmed the pattern. At the same time, MACD was previously indicating a bearish divergence. A bearish divergence occurs when the MACD histogram is suggesting that the price should be going down, but the market price is continuing to maintain its current uptrend. And as the price corrected to form point C, the MACD remained negative, so a valid signal. This is a simple and powerful setup. As always, if you got any value from this and learned something new, leave us a like to help us with the YouTube algorithm and make sure you click the bell icon to stay in touch when we release new videos. Until next time.